<laughs> Hello. So I'm basically just going to stretch my wrists over here. So notice my fingers are raising up. I'm going to tilt my head over to my left shoulder, floss it a little bit. Push it over, and over. One more. Change it up to the other side. Fingers facing up. Reach it. Neck over. Yeah. Just going to keep flossing. Usually after a long day, I like to do this. Point your fingers down, stretch it out again. Maybe rotate your neck, whatever feels good. Maybe you want to pull your arms backwards, it's a different stretch. You want to reach your chin away from the other shoulder. Change sides. Putting your palms down, putting your fingers back. Pulling your arms back behind you. Turning your palms in anywhere you want to. Rock it back. Continue turning your palms the other way around. <sighs> Take it onto the ground. Fingers on the ground. Lift your palms ten times. Shifting your shoulders above your wrists is going to help to warm them up a little bit more. For me, I got three. I got two. I got one. Slowly reach it out. Just reach your hands up and start to push your palm behind you. Open up your shoulders a little bit more. Keep drawing the belly button in. So usually for shoulders, I'll assume that all our core is very strong. We're going to keep our core engaged on as well. So you focus on not just the shoulders, but also your core. Now take a big step forward your right foot, reach your left knee back. Come into a low lunge pose. You just want to get nice and steady over here. Cushion your back knee if you need to. You just want to rock back and forth a little bit, just to stretch out the back hip flexors. Keep, keep tucking your back toes in. So you just want to keep this entire bum engaged. Imagine pulling your left knee forward a little bit more. Pulling your right foot back. Okay. Then I want you to start to ground the insides of your left foot down. If you want to, you can come out into a half warrior pose, warrior two pose. And just do some open lunges over here. Warming our hip flexors because we've been sitting around the whole day. So take your time, different people have different ways of just stretching it out. Maybe ease into it, take a moment. Bounce into it. Now bring the back of your palms along your hips. So the back of your palms along your hips. Then grab your elbow inside. Press against it, I want you to stretch up. This is a nice way to open up your shoulders over here. So let's switch it up to go over to the other side. So this time around, I'm just going to switch onto the left foot. Bring the back of the palms in. Fold your shoulders in, elbows in. And when you got it, you just want to reach up with your right hand. Use your left elbow to push your left knee out over to the side. Reach your right hand up and try to pull your right shoulder back. Don't forget to turn your watch, your heart rate monitor. I forgot to bounce, so you just want to also start to come into your lunges. Just open up the hip flexors. Don't forget to squeeze the bum at the same time. Right? Straighten your right foot, turn the toes in. Just focus on white leg bouncing. Gently stretching out the back of the hamstrings over here. And just slowly ease yourself towards the ground. That a little bit more. So just shift it over to your toes a little bit so you can feel the stretch at the back of the hamstring. Don't round your back, keeping your back almost parallel to the ground, keeping your 
In your mind, what we call flat back, but it's not entirely flat, you know. Okay? Slowly push yourself up, big step forward to the top of the mat. Come on, nice sun sensation. In so inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, bend your knees, fall forward down to the ground. Pedal your knees in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Take your time. In the halfway up, I want you to focus on straightening your knees and your elbows. Trying to push the crown of the head forward as you push your bum back, sucking the belly button in. Exhale, fold your knees forward. Sorry, bend your knees forward. Fold. Grind into your ground, make sure your hands are really get grounded into the ground and slowly either step or jump back when you're ready into plank. Plank over here, lower knees down to the ground. Make sure you shift your hands below your shoulders. And in the next inhale, arch your spine, looking forward into your cow spine pose. Making sure your knees are below your hips. Exhale, chest and chin down onto your ground. Squeeze the mat, squeeze the elbows between your hands. On your tails back, glide onto your belly button, roll your shoulders back into a baby cobra pose. Baby cobra pose, focusing on pulling your shoulders back, squeezing the bum a lot, a lot, a lot. Exhale, tuck your toes in. Push up to your assisted plank and back to plank. Downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, inhale, lift your heels high up, bend your knees. Look between your hands, I want you to really press into your hands and either big step or big hop forward to the top of the mat. Straighten knees forward, fold. Inhale, roll yourself up, squeeze and reach the hands up to the ceiling. Exhale, press up, palms to heart center, mask press up. You want to get the, the shoulder activation between your shoulders and your chest. So notice that I press, I'm really pressing it down a little bit more over here. Four more rounds. Inhale, arms up. Getting ready to jump if you're ready to. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Take a nice halfway up over here. Exhale, fold, fold down to the ground. Bend your knees, grind the palms down. Maybe either foot or jump your waist back. Maybe go into plank or chaturanga. Lower your knees down, roll yourself up high, cobra over here, squeeze them up a lot. Tuck your toes in, look forward. Now I just want you to lift up the plank, rounding your shoulders. Getting ready in your plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Downward facing dog, feet up. Keep it apart, inhale, lift your heels high up, bend your knees, look between your hands. Squeeze the mat like crazy, press into the mat. Inhale, hop forward if you want to, or exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Exhale, squeeze the palm, press the palms to heart center. Keep sucking the belly button in. Inhale, arms up. You should be almost ready to jump ready. If you're not ready yet, it doesn't matter. Just load more into your hands. Exhale, forward, fold. If you need to bend your knees, go ahead and bend your knees. I don't know why. Just inhale, halfway up. Take this chance to stretch your hamstring muscles as you reach forward. Exhale, forward, fold. Keep bending your knees if you want to. In order to consciously load your hands, I want you to bend your knees and lift your heels up, rocking onto your hands a little bit more. Now, round your shoulders, I really want you to press down into the ground now. And then next, inhale, suck the belly button and hop back to Chaturanga. <sighs> inhale, up the high cobra, your choice, really squeeze the bum, squeeze the thighs off. Exhale, straight away, back up, downward facing dog. Taking up your own notch over here, you know yourself best. So if you're ready, you can always hop forward, but mostly concentrating onto your hands. Make sure they press down really hard into the ground. Inhale, lift your heels high up, bend your knees low between your hands. Exhale, float, jump forward if you want to. Forward, fold. <sighs> Inhale, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Exhale, palms to heart center. <sighs> Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward, fold. In your forward, fold, you should feel yourself getting a little bit more warmed up in your hamstring muscles, otherwise always continue bending your knees to let your hamstring take a slight stretch over here. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward, fold. Again, more consciousness onto rocking onto your hands. You can choose to lift your heels up. You can choose to regular your toes back. So I want you to press your hands down into the ground, really look hard between your knuckles or your thumbs, and slowly getting ready into your chaturanga. Inhale, press into your hands. Exhale, hop, jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, glide up, roll your shoulders back. I want you to really squeeze your triceps in. Squeeze that bum. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shake it up. Over here. Continue stretching it out in your downward facing dog. And bring your feet get a touch at the back of the mat. And next, inhale, swing your right leg up to the ceiling. Then the stretch for your hamstring muscles again. You want to squeeze your right bum. Very nice. As you exhale, step right foot forward between your hands. Softly, steadily. Good. Keeping high onto your left knee, inhale, rise up into your high lunge pose. This is more of a stretch. I want you getting 
get yourself nice and warm up by squeezing your bum. Your hands don't have to be up, but I just want you to focus on keeping the back knee straight and maybe bending more into the right knee. Imagine you're trying to strengthen your legs by pulling your belly button and squeezing the mat between your feet. Maybe hold still for just one more breath. Spin your back heels down 90 degree. We're gonna go into your warrior two. See again, no hands. Okay. In your warrior two pose, straighten your front knee. I want you to bring both fingers to your hip bones, making sure that your fingertips are just where they are. I want you to imagine your back fingers going higher. So tilt your hip, hip bone, back hip bone up, front hip bone down. So this is not all this is this. <sighs> this is about having your back fingers allowing you to lift your back hip bone up. Feel your squeeze, reach forward, reach forward, reach forward, and just simply open up triangle pose. Another stretch for you. Grip the mind with toes, rebend your front knee, cover your hands inside your front foot. Wriggle out all the way. I just want you to get nice and low into this little lunge pose. This is a stretch for your left hip flexors and a squeeze for your right hip flexors. Getting used to the squeeze on the hip flexors is very important because your hip flexors are powering up for you. The other part is also going to help you lift your bum up a little bit higher when you go into all these compression poses. So for those who did my core class yesterday, you noticed that hip flexors are an important part. So this is really about squeezing into your right hip flexors. It's going to feel uncomfortable, that's what it's going to be. And the same thing about lengthening the left hip flexors over here. Maybe try to walk your fingers forward and balance onto your right foot and your back foot. Good. Hug your right knee in, stay for one breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale for a little bit deeper. See how deep you can stretch and squeeze in your right hip flexors. Good. Start to stay in this shape. Walk your hands below your shoulders. Now, keeping strong with your left foot, I want you to squeeze your right knee into your right shoulder. Hover the right foot off, then step back to climb. Yay! Push back down with facing dog, shake it out. Feet are touching at the back of the mat. The next inhale, kick the left foot up to the ceiling. Whew. Stretch it out over here, making sure your hips are not super open. Just try to keep them as close as possible. Exhale, the step left foot forward between your hands. Rise straight up, high lunge pose. Again, getting used to the stretch for yourself, making sure that your tail doesn't arch too much. You want to keep a neutral spine over here while trying to shift your weight even further back as you straighten the right foot a little bit more. Spin the right heels down a degree. We're going to just hang out here in your warrior two legs. Notice my hands are not just there. They are just relaxed. It's all about the hips. You're trying to get used to having your muscles open up, stretching out in a very little weird way, but it's not. we don't really do this when we sit down. Straighten your front knee. Both fingers over to your hip bones. I want you to imagine tilting your right hip bone back up and your left hip bone goes lower. There's a compression of your left hip flexors. Keep leaning your hip forward and then just stretch your hands up and down, triangle pose. Very slowly rebend the front knee, rock all the way up. Cover your hands towards the inside of your left foot. Again, there's another stretch as you bring your right toes back. I want you to hug your left knee in towards the left shoulder and just rock out over here. You're going to feel the compression and your left hip flexors. I can even squeeze my fat out, I'm just kidding. So over here, I'm just getting used to having this super compression along my hip flexors. You're not used to it, so I need, I need to give them time to just get used to squeezing like crazy. At the same time, I'm sque I'm stretching my right hip flexors. Allowing some stretches over here. So to walk your fingers forward and stay as you inhale, one deep breath. Stay to exhale, maybe walk your fingers forward a little more. Good. Walk your hands below your shoulders. Again, you want to press your hands down into the ground. As you strengthen your right foot, I want you to hug the left knee in towards the left shoulder and hover the left foot off. You're leaning forward, very good. Jen, then just step back to plank. In your plank pose over here, I want you to stay in plank for three, for two, and one. Knees down to the ground. Warm up is done. Take a sip of water. <sighs> good. Everyone's here, I think. 
Okay? I'm going to teach Chaturanga, or push-ups, whichever works for you. So, close arm push-ups today is a lot about your leg strength, the sides of your body, because you don't want to just round your shoulders too much. You actually want to squeeze and try to aim for this shape. So, if you have blocks, the blocks go onto the highest height and they are at your shoulder width. Okay? If you have no blocks, it's okay. You can still do the same thing. I want to set us set our hands up about half a palm behind our blocks. Stay in our knees first. I just want you to use your own gauge and then just simply rock forward and lean down straight into the block. So that your shoulders, your blocks catch your shoulders. Okay? Over here, if you are able to use a mirror to gauge yourself, I want you to tuck the tailbone in. So your tailbone cannot arch up, there's no sexy back over here. I want you to squeeze and tuck your tailbone down, squeeze above a lot. Staying over here, making sure that your elbows are above your elbow, uh, your elbows are above your wrist. I want you to hug your elbows in close to your ribcage and start to lift off one inch of the block, then push up. That's how you gauge whether your shoulders are really past. Because a lot of faults that I see in a push-up, and I'm constantly correcting a lot of friends out there, is that we end up doing our push-ups with our elbows behind our wrists. We are not really doing much of this. We want to focus on trying to shift our shoulders forward more. Notice my elbows are still above my wrists. I'm going to push all the way down and push up. That is your true shoulder strength. So as much as you can today, try your best to do that. Be a little bit more conscious. So I'm going to do this one more time with all of us without the blocks at the same time. You can do this on your knees or you can do this full on your feet. Whether your knees or your feet, I want you to squeeze your bum and make sure you're really sucking the belly button like crazy. Okay? Huh? Hands below your shoulders, gripping the mat like crazy. I'm going to stay on my knees first. I want you to squeeze your bum and really suck the belly button to really round your entire back. Keeping this round back, keeping your tailbone tucked down, shift your shoulders forward first. You should load your wrist at this point. And then exhale, keep looking forward as if you're trying to kiss the ground in front of you. And again, just keep squeezing your bum and push up. <sighs> Alright, because I'm going to launch straight into my first set, first uh, warm up set of the day. Okay? Okay, let's go for this. Starting down or facing dog. If you have read the list, you know what to expect. I have gotten someone telling me my first set is terrible. No, it is just my own challenge. Inhale into your down dog. Lift your heels up. Bend your knees low between your hands. Jump up, step forward to the top of the mat. Straight the knees forward, fold. Inhale halfway up. Exhale forward, fold. Bending your knees, rolling your palms down. I want you to jump into chaturanga or straight or try to jump into plank or walk back. And then just go straight away, chaturanga, inhale, push up, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll for a high plank, sorry, I just forgot this again, exhale, chaturanga, roll the shoulders back, inhale, up dog, modify, squeeze the bum, exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga, inhale, push up, exhale, downward facing dog. That is one set, I messed it up a little bit more over there, so I just continue guiding you. Catch your breath, inhale. Exhale, let's on me in downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, heels high up. Exhale, look forward, bend your knees. Jump, float forward if you want to. Exhale, straight the knees forward, fold. Inhale, roll yourself all in standing, reaching your hands up. Exhale, palms to heart center. Whew. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward, fold. Give yourself some space. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, forward, fold. Bend your knees, really suck that belly button in, reach forward, float forward, and float back, chaturanga, inhale, push up, exhale, chaturanga, roll the shoulders back, inhale, up dog, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, push up, exhale, downward facing dog, lift your heels up, bend your knees, jump forward, Ooh. straight knees forward, fold, no rolling up, inhale, halfway up, so walk your hands on the thighs, exhale, forward, fold. Ah. Bending your knees, grinding your palms down, getting ready to float back, so rock onto your hands and inhale, jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three more rounds to go. Inhale, heels up, bend your knees, look between your hands. Exhale, float forward to the 
the toes and back. Take a higher halfway up as you inhale, walk your hands up your kneecap or your shin bones. Exhale, forward fold. Bending your knees, grinding your palms down, rock forward, lean forward, and jump back to Chaturanga. Woo. Inhale, push up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Roll your shoulders back, inhale, up dog, squeeze the bum. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Catch your breath. Inhale, lift your heels high up. Exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, jump off, look forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to the higher flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Running your palms down to the ground, take your time, rock forward first. Lean forward and you want to float back or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Roll your shoulders back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last set to go. Inhale, heels up, bend the knees. Look between your hands. Try to yourself, try your best to float for if possible. So, exhale. Ah. Forward fold. Walk your hands up your thighs, up your knees, squeeze the bum, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, bend your hands, grind your hands, getting ready to float back to Chaturanga. So press away from the ground and inhale, lift Chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Roll your shoulders back, inhale, up dog. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Curl your knees over here. One deep breath as you inhale. Side out, have to exhale. Whew. Pressing into the inside of the hands a little bit more. Getting ready, inhale, roll into your high plank pose. High plank pose over here. Option one, knees down onto the ground. I'm doing your option one first. Start to stack your hands below your shoulders so that you don't end up being a little bit too com over compromised. Keep sucking the belly button in. Lift the left leg up towards the back of the room. Reach your right hand forward. This is option one. Option two, come straight into full plank over here and lift the left leg up, reach the right hand forward. Awkward plank for 10, 9, press out into your left hand, 8, 7, squeeze above, 6, 5, 4, 3, whoa, 2, 1, both, everything down. Push back, downward facing down. Catch one breath. Side out. Inhale, pull yourself forward. Again, if you want to, lower yourself, your knees down to the ground. Again, right foot back, left hand forward. Find your strong plank, pressing away more your right hand. Those in full plank, come out in full plank, right hand below right shoulder, lift the left leg up. Right leg up, sorry, reach your left hand forward in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Both hands, both feet down and push back. Downward facing dog, shake it up. Catch one breath, inhale. Open your mouth, side the way up. <sighs> Lower knees down to the ground, one by the sweat. <sighs> My dear physio, you're always checking me every day. <sighs> Hi people, are you still alive? <sighs> so, we've got another few sets to go. Alright. So you don't know how it is like as you hug your knee in close to your shoulders, we're going to do that. Five rounds per time. Next one, we bend downward facing dog. You don't need to really listen, or rather, you can place the phone in front of your hands if you need some visual guides. Otherwise, just listen to my voice. Downward facing dog. Feet are close together, to touch in the next inhale. Kick the right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, and squeeze over here. Keep squeezing, keep leaning forward. Option left knee down to the ground. Five push up. One, two, three. Four, five, push back. Two legs down facing dog. Both feet down to the ground. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, hug your left knee in towards the left tricep. Stay, rock forward. Keep the left knee off. Push up. One, two, three, four, five, push back. Downward facing dog. Shake it up. Catch one breath, inhale, open your mouth, slide out. <sighs> you may want to look at the phone right now in 
the, your, those are your legs exercise is, you're going to kick your right leg up to the ceiling, flex your right toes, you're trying to lean forward and bring your right toes outside your right hand, and lift up. Five times on each side, left leg as well, keep the knee straight, swing it forward, and lift up. Got it? Ready? Downward facing dog. So five on each leg, we don't, we don't alternate legs, we do the same thing at the same time. So press into your hands, downward facing your feet are touching at the back of the leg. Whew. And next inhale, reach your right leg up, right toes must flex down. Exhale, shift shoulders forward, bring your right toes all the way forward, if possible, can touch, can touch. Inhale, swing your right leg all the way up. Five. Exhale, reach forward. Four. Swing it back up. Exhale, reach forward. Kick it back up. Three. Exhale, reach forward, press your right foot on the ground. And up. Two. Exhale, reach down. All the way forward. And one, kick it all the way up. Drop your right foot down, pedal up first. Catch your breath. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, reach forward. Drive the left foot forward if possible. And inhale, kick it up. Exhale, four. Kick it up. Exhale, three. Uh, kick it up. Exhale, two. Kick it up. Exhale, one. Kick it up. Lower feet, lower the knees down. Shake your hands. I feel like I'm doing a hit class, but I'm not. It's all strength. Pound the stretch your wrists by bringing the back of the hand hands together and dropping your elbow down. Rotating your wrist if you want to. Okay? When you're ready, we're going to repeat the three exercises all at the same time. First of all, we've got our awkward, our, our, our awkward plank. The one hand and one leg off for 10 counts. Then we've got our knee to elbow and do our push-ups, five on each leg. Then we've got our straight knee where we bring it over and try to touch. Non-stop, okay? Try your best. <sighs> so happy to torture myself with you. Yes, Erica, thank you so much. I know it sounds a bit strange, but this is just a way to keep your own ass right at home. Otherwise, I don't know how else I'm going to do it. I'm just going to lay around at home. Okay, now we're facing up three exercises non-stop. If you need a break, take a break, okay? We'll try our best. Shout, scream at me. I can't really hear you, but never mind. You can do so later on after this whole session. Feet are touching right on downward facing dog. First one, awkward plank. So roll forward into a high plank pose. If you're choosing your knees down, go ahead and do it. Reach your right hand up, left leg up, and hold for 10. Pressing more from the left hand. Nine, eight, squeezing the bum. Seven, tuck the tailbone down. Six, five, reach the right hand even more forward. Four, three, two, one. Both hands, both feet down. Take one breath in your plank as you inhale. And side out. <sighs> Getting ready. Shift your weight forward over your right hand. Right foot, left hand off. In 10, 9, 8, 7. Press harder for your right hand. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Both hands, both feet down. Push back. Downward facing dog. Catch one deep breath. Inhale. Side out. <sighs> Feet are touching at the back of the mat, pressing to your hands. Inhale, kick that right knee up to the ceiling. Exhale, right knee over to your right triceps, hug it in. Rock forward, five push up. Four, three, uh, two, uh, one, push back downward facing dog. One breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift that left foot up to the ceiling. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, hug it in, squeeze your core. Rock forward, five, four, three, two, one, and push back, downward facing dog. Shake it out, one breath. You can lift your palms off the ground, staying onto your fingers, just for a different stretch. And side out. I know your shoulders are cooking. Last one. Feet are touching at the back of the mat. And the next inhale, shoot your right leg up, right toes point down. 
Straighten your right heel, exhale, pull your right foot over to your right wrist and kick it up. Five. Kick it forward. Four. Kick it forward and three. Kick it forward and two. Kick it forward and one. Rest right foot down. Shake it out. Left side. Next inhale, kick the left foot up. Press the left toes down. Exhale, lean forward, kick it forward. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Up. Down dog, knees down. Woo. Stay with your knees. Turn your shoulders, interlace fingers behind you. Roll your shoulders back. Maybe straighten elbows. Maybe lean down, but I'm lean, lean back and try to lift my hands to shoulder height. Slowly bend the elbows, release it. How are you feeling? Woo! Next two exercises to wrap up before we go for a break. I can say we go for a break, but actually just for me to catch my breath now. <sighs> Alright? So, this is a challenge for you to go into your extended plank pose. So normally plank is hands below our shoulders, feet behind. I want you to start to walk your hands far as far as possible. Notice my bum is not going to lift up, it's going to keep squeezing even more. You want to extend your leg as much as possible. Squeeze the leg between your hands. If you're able to go lower, go lower. And we're going to hold. Later on, I'm going to challenge you on the same leg. Lift your right leg up, down, up, down. Keep tucking your tailbone in. The tendency is all of us are going to arch our back. So, take your own... Um, Take your own what? Take your own conscious pose over here. All right. When you're ready, set yourself up in your plank pose first. In your plank pose, hands are below your shoulders. Really squeeze your bum to suck the belly button in. So to walk your hands forward as much as possible. I usually go into a really really low extended plank. I want you to round your shoulders, tuck your tailbone a lot more, round, round, round like crazy. No parting of your spine up, tailbone up. We're gonna call for 10, 9, press into your thumbs and next fingers a little bit more. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower knees down. Reset first. Okay? We are gonna level up this time around. I'm gonna do leg lift with our extended plank pose. Okay, if you guys are ready, you know where your extended plank is, so just set your arms straight away there. Round the shoulders, press into your thumbs and index fingers, but get the inside of the hands a lot more. Squeeze both feet close together and wriggle your feet even closer back. Tuck the tailbone in and start to extend your point, your right toes back. Lift the right leg up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Right toes down, left toes back, and ten, nine, eight, seven. Round your spine. Six. Tuck the tailbone in. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down to the floor. Shake it out. So a lot of shoulder movement is also about core. The core is the connecting part of the body. The reason why we train core so much and we don't train core alone is because it's the connecting muscles between our upper and our lower body strength. So if you're able to muscle your core, I think it makes a lot of magic, it makes a lot more control. Which is, which you realize will power your strength a lot more after that. Okay? Now, we're going to go into side plank. If you're able to, please go into a full side plank, otherwise go into your elbows. I usually like to take a full side plank because it's harder on the shoulders. So, full side plank, stacking onto both feet on top of each other, but making sure you're, I'm on my right hand, 
So my left foot is guarded down to the ground like this. Okay? For those who are unable to keep a full side plank, I want you to bring your left knee down and your right knee in front of the left. Option one, we're going to stay, we're going to squeeze our bum, we're going to extend your right foot and try to lift it off. Option two, you're going to extend the back foot, making sure that the outer edge of your back foot is really plumbing down. And you're going to reach your hands up, you're going to take this foot forward. Side inner thigh, squeeze over here in 10, lift, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bend your right knee. Now when you try to rotate your right knee up to the ceiling a little bit more, train your core in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, collapse. <sighs> So you notice that when you bring your bottom knee up to the ceiling Hey Vin Hello from House Vietnam <sighs> Hope everything is okay over there So you realize when you rotate your bottom knee up to the ceiling That's when your shoulders are open You're going to work on the extend the open shoulder strength as you continue pressing down to the ground And you're working on the twisted core as you reach your knee up to the ceiling Left side now Set yourself up, left hand below your left shoulder if you're able to, either right foot entirely plugging down onto the ground or right knee down onto the ground. If you're taking option one, your left foot reaches forward, you're going to focus on lifting this left foot, you're going to feel it at the same time. Okay, I'm going to take a full version. Right foot really pressing down, you need to make sure you have a lot of friction over there. Make sure your shoulders are stacking above your left hand, right hand reaches up, stretch the left foot forward, up, down. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Bend the bottom left knee. Rotate your left knee up. Whoa! In ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Collapse. <sighs> How are we doing? Forty minutes in. See, time flies, man. <sighs> Take a break. Now we're gonna go into call work. Now I want you to focus on your low boat pose over here. Low boat, stay back down onto the ground. Now, so to fold your left knee in, reaching your hands back. I'm going to go into pistol squat, so really low boat, crunch it up, reach forward, balance onto your left foot, right foot still, lift it off. Slowly rotate down into your low boat for five, four, three, reach your hands behind you for two. And one, rock forward, balancing onto your left ankle in five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, low boat, maybe hands back. With your knee bent, it's, back, it's easy to press your back down to the ground for five, four, three, two, one. Rock forward, balancing onto your left ankle for five, lifting your right foot off the ground in four, three, two, round, two more rounds, low boat for five. Hug the left knee in, four, three, two, one. Rock forward, balancing onto your left ankle for five, four. Sub the belly button in, four, three, two, one. Rock it down, last one. Reach back, pull your hands back, pull your right foot forward in, five, four, three, two, one. Rock forward, lean onto your left ankle in, five, four, three, two, one, butt down. One deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Before you start closing and staring at me, come into a low boat pose. This time we're going to switch it up. Right knee in. Reach your hands back in five. Four. Pull the right knee even more. Reach your left even more. Three. Two. One. Rock forward. La. Right foot presses off in five. This is still core. Four. Three. Two. One, rock it back in five, four, three, two, one, rock it forward in five, four, three, two, one, rock it back, pin your lower back down to the ground, three, step set already in three, two, one, rock it forward, lifting your left foot up if possible in five, four, three, two, one, two more rounds to go. Reach the hands back, pull the right knee in. Five, four, three, two, 
One, reaching forward, lifting your bum all in five, four, three, two, one. Roll it back. Right knee in. Last one. Five. Reach your left toes forward. Four. Lower back must be down to the ground. Three, two, one. Rock it forward and lift in five, four, three, two, one. Bum down to the ground. <sighs> I don't know why it is, I'm just trying to figure things out as we go along. Sometimes I don't know what I'm writing. Okay, back to your push ups. So, it's gonna be up dog to chaturanga, up dog to chaturanga. Option one knees down, otherwise, option two knees up. So, option one knees down is your high cobra. Squeeze above, high cobra, open up the shoulders. Chaturanga, suck the belly button in, lean forward. Chaturanga, stay on your knees. Lower hips down, pull the shoulders back, high cobra. Lean forward, you must lean forward until your shoulders are, your elbows are past your wrist, chaturanga. Okay? Version two. Up dog, toes tucked in, squeeze that bump. I want you to roll, keep rolling the shoulders back. Suck the belly button, lift your hips up, chaturanga. Push up to plank first, then go into up dog. Pull that shoulders back. Lift your hips up first, then chaturanga. <sighs> you go five times, I just did two already. I'll do it next time with you, okay? In order to protect your lower back, I want you to squeeze the bum really a lot. Imagine you're trying to wrap the front of your quads backwards. So that's how high you squeeze the bum a lot. Okay, don't dump it into the lower back. Even if you cannot do the full high cobra abdominal, please don't. Just focus on trying to pull your chest forward. That's good enough. Keep the belly button drawing all the time. Ready? Let's go. Take your own um, plank or assisted plank. Your choice. Knees down or knees up. Your choice over here. Feet hip in the part or one hip in the part also can. Now, very slowly, lower hips down. Pull your shoulders back. Pull your chest forward. This is your up dog. Pulling your shoulders back. I want you to train your elbows, your shoulders pulling back. Now, belly button draws in and chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Up, dog, squeeze the bum. Exhale, lift the bum up. Chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Third one. Up, dog. Exhale, lift your bum up. Chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Squeeze the bum up, dog. Fourth one. Exhale, push. Lift the bum up. Push down, chaturanga. Last one, inhale, up dog, exhale, lift up, chaturanga, inhale, lift up dog, we're going to hold for 10, work your shoulders, 9, 8, biceps pointing forward, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knees down, ease out a little bit, shake it up, even holding up dog is tough. I know, it's bloody tough. Ah, <sighs> hello <sighs> Bronson again. <sighs> what did I just do? Okay, I've got how many more minutes? I've got 15 more minutes or less than that. Okay, let's practice keeping more weight onto our hands. <sighs> All right. Now, you can choose either work with a block or work without blocks. I like to work with blocks. Both hands gripping the edge of a block, making sure that you are shoulder height. You're going to bring your knees down, lining up your hands by your knees. For those who are more experienced, you can shift your hands slightly towards the middle of your thighs. What you're going to do is you're going to lean forward, round your spine, and lift both knees up, down, and back. Ten times in total. If you do it without blocks, it's the same. Hands by your knees, round your spine, lean forward, suck the belly button in, and lift your knees up, and down. Okay? we got nine more times to go. Round your shoulders, lean forward onto your knuckles. Lift your knees up to your chest, 
and down. You don't need to lift your bum up, just your knees off. Lift, eight, down. Keep leaning forward. Lift, seven. Keep leaning forward. Lift, six. Keep leaning forward, round the shoulders, really press into your ground. I want you to really press hard into your ground. Lift, six. Lift, five. Lift, four. Press, three. I can't really tell why I do this. Press, two. Press, one. Shake out your elbows, interlace fingers, pulling your shoulders back, maybe lean forward and drive your shoulders above your head. Two more breaths. Slowly ease yourself up. <sighs> Woo! You got a last one before I do all the shoulder stretches already. <laughs> After this, I'm going to practice form stands because it's such a terrible, terrible uh, habit of mine not to open up my shoulders. Okay? First of all, one more way of opening up my shoulders, I want you to stay onto your knees. Making sure your hips are above your knees and start to walk your hands forward. You're going to start to lift your tailbone up, arching your spine. Keep walking your hands forward. And start to try to melt your chest down to the ground. You don't have to go all the way down to your ground, that's fine. You can just stay. You only want to keep looking forward between your thumbs. I want you to squeeze the floor of the mat between your palms a lot more. So you're trying to wrap your triceps to point down to the floor. If your chest is already on the floor, I want you to stay onto your fingertips and start to bounce. Keeping your chest just bouncing off the floor. Three, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly push yourself all the way up. All right, next one over here. Woo! 200 calories burnt already. Yay! Okay. Now, we're going to go into dolphin and kiss our fingers and dolphin. Okay. So, how about your elbows? Walking back to plank. Pulling your shoulders back by squeezing the floor between your elbows. Start to walk your toes in. As you start to look back at your ankle, try to keep pressing your chest towards your feet as your feet continuously walks in. Alright, now when you cannot already, you can bend your knees if you want to, keeping your bum high up. Now, thumbs down to your ground, look between your thumbs, suck your belly button in. Now, reach your nose forward, kiss the floor of your nose between your thumbs, and push back. That's 10. Nine more to go. Keep the floor between your thumbs and your nose and push back. Eight. Reach forward. Ugh. Seven. Reach forward. Six. Reach forward. Five. Ugh. Reach forward. Four. Reach forward. Three. Ugh. The rubber smells like rubber. Reach forward. Two. Ugh. Reach forward. One. Lower knees down. Check it out. <sighs> if your shoulders don't feel cooked right now, I don't know what is. Probably for the guys, your shoulders wouldn't feel cooked. But, this is how we go. Alright? Last bit of the day. I've done, it's another challenge for you. And it's going to challenge your front shoulder. We're going to go into pack push-ups. Your last bit over here. And seriously, the last one. Do 10 to 15 solid ones, and then you're pretty much done for the day. How to set yourself up? Setting yourself up will be coming into a shortened downward facing dog. 
hands are down, shoulder width apart. You really need to wrap your triceps in like crazy. Your elbows cannot point out, otherwise it's going to be even harder to balance. You need to really press into your fingertips, so notice my fingers are moving and gripping the floor. So, lift your heels up, you can bend your knees slightly, I want you to keep your bum up. I want you to lean forward and bend your elbows. You don't have to touch the ground, and just push up. If you need a guide, I usually use the block, second high is my guide, so I make sure that my head must touch the block. Because I'm not at the part where I can touch the ground yet. Last bit, then solid ones on your own. Usually I do about five, I rest, I do about five and I rest. Okay, you want to check your form in this posture. You don't want to go all the way down, that's totally fine. As long as you feel it in your shoulders and you're wrapping your triceps in like crazy. Okay, set yourself up. The block, if you're using one, is about one elbow's length distance away or you can slightly shorten it. I'm going to lift my bum up already, super short downward facing dog. Pressing into my hands, I'm going to go down. Ah. I don't know what time the rest of you guys join, but I hope you're going most of it. I'm going to do my last five. There we are, just in time to wrap up with a quick shoulder cool down. Alright. So don't cheat in your pike push ups. Even if you move one inch forward and down, that's the whole point. You just want to get used to having weight gripping by your fingertips. As you go up, getting used to sending the weight over. minutes worth of shoulder exercises so do your favor you want to come down to your belly button to stretch your shoulders up you're gonna to lie to your belly and stretch your right hand out over to the side right hand is the same height as your right shoulder pressing your right palm down bend the left knee left hand below the left shoulder push away from the left shoulder and try to look up at the ceiling as you drop your left foot behind you pressing harder into your right hand. You want to open up over here. If you want to, you can bend your right knee as well and try to do a double twist. If you really want to stretch out the right shoulder a lot more, start to really press harder into your right hand. And start to reach your left hand towards the back as well. Slowly come to the center. Ah, Left side now. Make sure your left shoulder and your left palm are on the same line. Right hand below right shoulder, bend the right knee first. Push yourself off. Start to find your right knee out down to the ground. I like to bend both legs. To deepen the stretch, you can reach your right hand towards the back. And slowly come back. Continue doing this video until it finishes. So you can grab a weight, grab a block, your choice. Both feet are down to the ground. We're just gonna do twists. So my hands are gonna go forward. You can just not even use a block. We'll do twists over to each side. So as we just do this, I like to just work out my core 
as you squeeze your knees together. Each time you send it over to the side, you're going to bring your knees to the other side. Try not to bend your elbows, if possible. So actually, I'm just going to do this maybe until it ends. Actually, that's not possible. It's just three minutes to go. Maybe just, I don't know. I've done 10 already. I'm going to do 30 in total. Uh, try to squeeze your knees and close together. Maybe the last 10 more. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Oh. 